God, by his spirit, in his spirit, has provided us the ability to do what he has, say, what he has said. Philippians chapter 2 verse 13. <clears throat> that will bring home the, the point. For it is God which walketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. That will drive the point home. But what, observe this. You know, most people like the verse 12. They like the verse 12 very well. And they don't go beyond it because they are very mischievous in their, in their thoughts. Verse 12 says, put it up. Walk out. Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling. He didn't say walk for your own salvation. He said, walk out, not walk for. Walk out your own salvation. Then he now explains how that salvation is worked out. For it is God that walketh. So the working out of your salvation, it is God at work. God at work. You know, the danger in misinterpreting scripture is that it can go far more reaching than you can imagine. For example, John chapter 14 verse 1 and 2 has been used over the years in the church world as a scripture for sending raw materials to heaven for the building of your house. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. Do you have mansions in a house? You can't have mansions in a house. The word mansions means dwelling place. In my father's house, there are many dwelling places. But before he said that, he now says, I go to prepare a place. That where I am, you will be. So the dwelling place is in Christ. It's not a building somewhere where if you don't send offerings, you don't send tithes, you don't sow seed, your building is still boys' quarter foundation. No. No. He was talking about the, the end product of his death, burial, and resurrection. That where I am, you may be also. That's why it's very important to stay with the context of scripture. Misinterpretation of scripture can really mis misdirect people, you know. That's why it looks like in our ministry, we're very technical. We stick to what the word says. Sometimes people have accused me of being too doctrinal. But I take it as a very good compliment. There's no better way to be than to be very doctrinal because I'm not an immoral person. You see, it's 30 days of glory 2020.